interesting news coming out. Um, we knew this was happening. The NES Classic returning since Nintendo announced it last year. Once they, you know, once they realized that hey, the Super Nintendo Classic's going to be big. The NES Classic, we didn't make enough of them. That the NES Classic is coming back. We got, but we got the official official announcement that you know it's coming back on June 29th to stores, and the Super Nintendo Classic is going to be expected to be available through the end of the year, according to Nintendo. So the only thing to say about this is that uh, Nintendo, we, we keep saying this, Nintendo quickly, for the most part, in early, uh, early I guess, 2017, realized we, we kind of screwed this up. Yep. We have to reverse course, and now it's too late with the NES Classic. We have to do the Super Nintendo Classic, which came out, what, summer of last year already? When yeah, they, yeah, that was like September, September of last last year. So they probably, for some reason, couldn't do both at the same time again. I don't know why. Maybe maybe they don't have the uh, production set up for both at the same time. You know, they're probably fairly similar products in terms of the insides, the, the guts. But anyway, either way, the fact that they're bringing back the NES Classic can only be seen as good news because people that were heartbroken can now get it. Um, they don't have to be scalped as much anymore. You know, prices have gone down because the interest has gone down. I just don't know if it's too little too late to bring this back, you know, a year and a half later um, because maybe the interest is gone unless they r ramp up a, another, you know, schedule of uh, online advertising. There was no TV advertisement for this or the Super Nintendo Classic, which I thought was weird. But maybe now they Apparently it wasn't necessary. It wasn't. But now that it's going to be widely available, you would assume, because you can find the Super Nintendo Classic fairly easily now. If you walk into a store, I, I get tweets almost every week. Oh, yeah, here's Super Nintendo Classic at my Target or at my Walmart. So they made, because they made a lot more. They made millions and several million of the Super Nintendo Classic. They only made, what, 2 million NES Classic worldwide, which is way yeah. too low. So I'm happy that they're bringing this back. Obviously, you want people to be able to get it. It's what The question is going to be is I, I think it will materially be the same. I, I even doubt they would have locked it down so you can't get in there and put on your own ROMs. I don't think they, Nintendo even cares about that, to be honest. No. I, I think it's gonna be the same exact thing, same exact packaging. We know it's the same, same thirty games, same everything. I just don't know, you know, we don't, we don't know the exact amount. Obviously, I know that the pre-order sold out again right away, um, from what I heard. I think at least on Amazon. And then we don't know if they're doing extra controllers again, which you assume they would do extra controllers again, at least in a quantity you can fucking find them in the U.S. and not have to buy them from Europe. Well, those were one of the those were highly scalped as well, so I would imagine that they would do additional controllers yeah so I, hope. I, I, I better sell my extra us controller now and get like over 100 bucks for it <laughs> um, no i think it's a great idea i, I think NES at the store i still get a number of people looking for them um and i tell people about it getting re-released next month yeah and, super Nintendo classic is widely available still and um you know they get excited as soon as it gets closer or it starts coming out, if they can actually get it on the shelves in the amount that they say they will, and I think they can, um, it's going to be one of those things where people will just pick it up and buy it. They'll have to see it, though. They'll be like, oh, wow, it's available again, like they're walking into Target or Walmart. But it, Exactly. However, I think Nintendo can do that, and I think it's going to sell just fine. I'm really not concerned about this being able to move. Um, yeah, Super Nintendo Classic, even on eBay, is only going for like 75 bucks on ebay so that's barely above retail yeah so that's yeah but retail. i thought retail is 79.99 oh yeah so okay so that's below one one here's one for 90 bucks here's one for let's see uh super new classic nes classic looks like it's about 100 to 125 bucks so it's definitely come back down to earth yeah because people are like probably fuck it you I'll, know i I'll can't wait. find it i'll just either wait or i'm i'm, I'm done with it you know but yeah it looks like the, it looks like the, the super Nintendo classic i guess okay 95 bucks but it's that's not that much above retail, so that means there's a lot more of them around, right? That are available. So to go along with the re-release of the NES Classic, it looks like Japan is getting a uh, golden Famicom Mini um, that is uh, branded with Weekly Shonen Jump. Weekly Shonen Jump is a uh, manga magazine um, that comes out in Japan and has been around for well 50 years now um, and it's highly influential and extremely popular it's the magazine that Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z were published in um, uh, stuff like Saint Seiya uh, and forgive me if I'm wrong here because I don't know all of my uh, anime and manga well but i How dare you, I, I would imagine i believe stuff like um naruto got its start in there 
and probably bleach. Uh, all of those are, you know, the typical style, uh, you know, Shonen Jump uh, manga. So this is an interesting development that it's kind of surprising that, that N Nintendo would have done this sort of like offshoot license for something like this to me. Not some, I mean, Nintendo is massive and Shonen Jump is massive. I mean, these are two, I mean, huge things. The company that, I mean, it's not the company that did, but the, the one of the biggest companies that broke Dragon Ball and has all of this stuff and okay. Nintendo. I mean, you're talking about two culturally extremely significant so, things. So Nintendo sees this partnership as, okay, we can sell a lot of these. They can sell a lot of them to their fans too. Right. At the same time. I mean, this would be Cause like... Because the games on here aren't going to set the world on fire, but it could be no, a cool thing it's to absolutely... Game-wise, it's absolutely nothing important, but it, you have to re remember, this would be... Imagine if Nintendo was a company based in the U.S. This would be like Nintendo and Disney doing something. Okay, that, see, that, that makes sense. That's that's what this. Which now is. I'm wondering why they never did something with Disney. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, well, I see what you're saying. So it's so, not the quality of the games that matters. It's it's, it's the fact that it, it's the characters. It's the yeah. it's the series in the but, game. But you so. see, what I mean, this isn't just them putting out their limited edition Tommy Hilfiger fucking Game Boy. This is them putting out a package. Yeah branded then all these games that aren't first party games that they're throwing oh, no, out. Absolutely that's, that's, not. that's why to me it's strange yeah, for them to do that. This is a list of general general bullshit. Um I, mean, I don't I don't know half of these. We can go through these. So um tag team match muscle is miserable. Is miserable. I, actually you know what? Actually playing it for the book, it's not as miserable as once you get into it. It's still not a good game, but it's goofy as fuck. Dragon Quest you get on here though. Um Dragon Quest Fist of the North Star. Which actually is okay. It's decent. Um, Dragon Ball Shunran Nanazo, I think, is Dragon Power. Yes, which actually isn't a bad game. Um, Kinikuman is, I see, that's the one I was going to say was Muscle, but I guess not. Is Muscle, is the U.S. Muscle tag team or is it one-on-one? -on -one? It's tag team. It is. Okay, so then that would be tag team. Uh, Saint Seiya, that game I don't believe came out over here. Captain Subasa, that's awesome. That's Tecmo Cup Soccer. Uh, okay, so maybe this is better than we thought so far. Then this it's isn't Tecmo Cup Soccer <laughs> game. Tecmo Cup Soccer Part Two is further down, and then we start getting into stuff that I don't quite remember. Oh, so um, the games aren't as bad. You got Dragon Ball Three. Uh, uh, sorry, phone call. Uh, um, uh, Famicom Jump Two. What is that one? Uh, those are, I believe those are like, um, the games that mix like all the characters, together. the jump characters together. Okay. So maybe this isn't, the game list isn't as bad. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> but it's, yeah. Well, it's, you, you, you like, uh, Captain Subasa. Oh, I do. Yeah, absolutely. So, so how's, I guess that's be an interesting anime to read or manga to read. Um, but I think I want to say, and I can't remember the names. I, I believe, I believe a couple of those other Bandai um, those Bandai released games might be on here too. So, so it's the same as the the Famicom Mini. It has the the, the wired in controllers, right? It's just golden, and yeah. it has a separate set of gold games. for the fiftieth anniversary of Shonen it, Jump. I should have bought the there was since the game list was different. I probably should have bought the uh, the Famicom Classic. I thought you had one. No, I don't. I mean, it's, it's you can get it easily. I yeah. think. Uh, all right. Well, this is it's interesting. But yeah, I had no interest in a Famicom but, Mini, and I have no interest in an NES Mini. But this because of its Weird this go out specificity. For, yeah. yeah, I would almost be interested in this. You know, you can't play Dragon Quest and some of the other games you can't play. Yeah. I wonder how many other games you can actually play out of here. Probably more than half without knowing Japanese. Do, 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 do. I just think it's cool because of the Shonen. Death's Even Emperor's Emperor is on there. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I know that was that was originally a, a manga property or whatever. All right. So okay, well, go go grab your gold Famicom and. I'll buy buy another NES class just to have one. No, I, I got I got two of them. I think. Yeah, I think I'm good. The hoarder.